welcome to my channel and today I have a stitch fix. Okay, this is a big old box. Look at this box, y'all. And there's no shoes in there. It's just thick stuff. Okay, so normally I would be doing a stitch fix at this point with Scott. Well, hello. With Scott, but his box is still not here. So we're, we're having a hard time getting our stitch fix boxes coordinated. Uh, we did just finish a wantable video together that I'm going to be uploading probably today or tomorrow. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my stitch fix by myself. And then his box is supposed to come, I think, next week. And who knows, maybe I can get a quick turnaround and do, an, do one with him. I, I don't know. I don't know. Or we can just delay the return on his. He's never in a hurry. So, you know. We can probably do that. All right, but my stitch fix has been here for a couple of days, and so it's time to do it. All right, so let's get in here. Oh, it is a very, look at this. It is a very thick bundle. Yeah, that looks like some heavy duty winter stuff. Um, whoops, you okay? <laughs> She's so funny, she loves being up here now. All right, so I did look at the preview. I don't know who the stylist was. Oh. Got to get my little cards. Um, I, I didn't look. I don't know who the stylist was, but I, I'll be honest. I just did a quick, yeah, I'll take that, that, that. I didn't really think about it because <laughs> I've just been super busy lately, and I thought, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, but I'll be honest, just the stuff I looked at, I was kind of like, because I went back, you know, once it shipped, I went in and I kind of looked, and I'm like, mm, there's a couple things that are exciting me, but you never know. It's funny. Sometimes the things that you're really excited about are the things that you end up not keeping and the things you're not so sure about are the things you end up keeping. Okay, enough about that. Stitch Fix. You get five pieces. If you keep all five, you get 25% off. You work one-on-one -on -one with, well, let me take that back. You don't really work one-on-one -on -one with a stylist, but you are assigned a stylist, okay? Versus like Truck Club where you have like a team. Um, they have lots of opportunities to go in and see what you like. You've got, there's a thumbs up, thumbs down little thing, you know, that you can tell them what you like, what you don't like. Um, you can build an inspiration board. Of course, they can go back and look at um, previous purchases. You can leave them notes. Now they're doing the fixed preview where they actually send you, I think around eight pieces, you know, a picture and image of them and you can decide which ones you want them to send, if any. Um, so that, that's a nice feature. All right, let, let's get in here and see who my stylist is because Leslie has been my stylist primarily. And I've had other stylists, but she's primarily been my stylist for about a year. And I'm gonna tell you, I've had more five out of fives. Excuse me, Maisie, she's bumping my camera. I've had more five out of fives this year than ever since I've had Leslie, okay? I don't think this is Leslie. I'm done. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. All right, but there are two things in here in particular that I'm, I'm kind of excited about. All right, they send you, it ha you get style cards that give suggestions of how to wear the pieces. That's nice. No, this is Madison. Isn't that funny? I can, al I can almost always tell when it's Leslie. Let's get in here and see. Here's my price list. They give you a return mailer, super simple. Whatever you don't love or don't want to keep, you just send right back. Ooh. Free shipping both ways, no matter how much or how little you keep. That's nice. Okay, all right, here we go. Decided that this channel belongs to her, <laughs> just like everything else. The other dogs are like, we give up. We give up, we give. It's, it is Macy's world and we're all just living in it. <laughs> and it's because she's so stinking cute and she is very sweet. All right, this first piece is one of the pieces that I'm actually, okay, you're gonna have to lay down. You're gonna have to sit there or you're gonna have to get down. You have to stay there or you have to get down. She says, well, then I'll get down. Okay, so this first piece is something that, this is one of the pieces in my preview I was excited about, but now that I'm feeling it, it's kind of scratchy. But it's a cardigan, like I don't have enough of those, but it's different, y'all, look. It's got this kind of, I forget what this is called, like a fair aisle print, I wanna say is what that's called. And then it has these little buttons, the way it kind of pulls it back, I don't know. I, I was just very interested to see how this would fit, how it would lay, how it would look, but it is feeling kind of scratchy. I thought I checked the fabrics. I've been trying to do that, because me and acrylic, we don't get along. Yeah, I must have not checked it. 
or maybe I did and I thought, well, I'll try it anyway. It's 24% acrylic. Sometimes I can handle acrylic depending on what it's blended with, but other times I can feel it right away. Now, the good thing about this is it's a cardigan, so I'm always gonna be wearing it over something. So that could help. All right, so this is very cute. Oh, here's my, hang on, gotta get this. All right, this is by Fortune and Ivy. It's called the Raiden Tab Detail Cardigan. It's $50. That's not bad for a cardigan. Oh, this is a really reasonably priced box. Very reasonably priced. Okay. All right, this next one, I just, I don't know. I was, in, I was intrigued by the color. I wanted to see the color in person. It's by Pink Clover. Anything by Pink Clover is gonna be super, super soft. Uh, this is called the Shania Knit Top in light green for $44. So it's a ribbed material. It's got little pockets on the side. It's got a uh, kind of a loose cowl neck with a drawstring. It looks like it's gonna be kind of fitted. That, it, that when I'm, now that I'm seeing it, it looks very, very straight and so that's gonna be a factor for me because you know me, I do not like anything clingy. So, but I'm, I'm kind of liking that color. It's a, it's a different color green. I don't have that color green. I, I really do kind of like that. Okay, and then we have a couple of plaid shirts. Y'all know I love plaid. This one, it's kind of a gray blue and it's by Market and Spruce. It, it is just a typical flannel plaid shirt. I, I'll be honest, there's just nothing really special about it. But I thought it might be cute with layering. In fact, I might do that with this. It, it might be really cute. I like the look of, you know, like a graphic tee with a flannel shirt over it. I think that's kind of cute. So this is Market and Spruce. Wow, I have three Market and Spruce items in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, I got very very confused for a minute. All right, this is Market and Spruce, the Her Sammy Heritage Cotton in White for 44. No man. Sorry, Maisie was eating the box, I had to pick it up. So this is by Market and Spruce and it's $44. It has roll tab sleeves, I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm never a big fan of roll tabs, but as long as they stay up, you know, like if the fabric is got a little structure to it and they'll stay in place, I don't mind them. All right, now this is the other thing that I was kind of excited about seeing, and oh boy, is it soft. It is so soft. This is also by Market and Spruce. Um, I loved the color. And now it's not a full button down. It's like three quarters of the way down. So, it, you know, you'd pull it over, but it also has roll tabs. But as you can already see, see this fabric is a lot looser. It's not very structured. Oh, you can't lay on the clothes, baby. Hang on. Uh, you see how that's already fallen down? That's what I mean by roll tabs. That's, that's one of the things that I don't like about them. Okay, so, but, but this is a really pretty pattern and it's super, super soft. All right, I have one more piece. She had to get situated over there. All right, this one is also by Market and Spruce. And this one is pink. It's called the Whistler V-neck Rib Stitch. It also feel, it's soft, it's very soft, but it does feel like it might have some acrylic in it. Hold on. No, it doesn't. It's 90% recycled polyester, 7% polyamide, and 3% elastane. It's pretty, it's a very, it's like a blush color. It reminds me of those tennis shoes that I just kept out of Trunk Club. I'd be cute with that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. It's just a little sweater, a little pullover. Okay, y'all, good choices here. All tops, no bottoms. So I'll just keep on my jeans and try every one of these on. We'll see which one, if any, that I love. Okay, I just went ahead and threw this um, cardigan right over what I was already wearing. Um, I want to really love this. <laughs> I really want to love it because I think the buttons are so cute and this, but there is something about it I do not like. I, I, think, I think it's how it's laying because of the buttons. Um, I don't know. And I'm gonna be honest, it is itchy. Now I have on a short sleeve shirt, but in Texas, that's gonna happen. You're gonna wear a short sleeve under things like this 
or tanks. And so because of that, just that alone, I, pro I, I won't keep this. Um, and that's a shame, but um, and, you know, and I may just need to play with this a little bit. And now that I have it on, I see that there's like shiny thread woven through it, which I am never a fan of. Um, but I, I don't like the way it's laying on me. I don't, I don't think it's flattering. So I don't know, maybe if I styled it different, you know, put on some tall black boots and just a solid black shirt under it, it might look better, but nah. All right, so this is a no. All right, I'm gonna try that plaid shirt over this too real quick, because I think that might be cute. Okay, so here's the plaid shirt. It, as I said, it is, it's just a plaid shirt. I can wear it with a little graphic tee like this, or it's, I got plenty of room to button it up, not a problem. Um, the roll tabs are staying where they're supposed to. It's very soft. I like the color of this. I don't have a plaid shirt this color. So um, I do like this. I actually really do like this. Um, yeah, I can see myself wearing this with a lot of different things in a lot of different ways. Yeah, this one, this one, I, I think I'm liking this one. What do y'all think? It's just a basic, just a basic little plaid shirt. Nothing like over the moon exciting, but it's cute and it works. Okay, let's move on to the next. Y'all, this is funny. I've literally been able to just stand right here with the clothes and just throw them all on over this t-shirt. All right, this is the pink little sweater. This is really cute, y'all, and super, super soft. Uh, this would be really cute with those pink uh, trunk club tennis shoes. So yeah, I do like this a lot. And it's the V-neck is not so low that I would have to wear a shirt under it, um, but it's it's cute with a shirt under it. So yeah, and I kind of even like it with the black, kind of the heathered, you know, vintage looking. Yeah, this is hilarious. I'm literally just standing here throwing stuff over. Now I'm gonna have to not do that because these next two pieces can't go over this. But yeah, I like this too. Um, you know, pullover sweaters, I'm, I'm limiting this year because, you know, the, the hot flashes make it hard. I have to pull it off. So instead of, you know, a cardigan's a little different. Um, so I don't know, this is cute. Um, I'm probably gonna try it on because you can kind of see the t-shirt through this, but um, I may try it on without the t-shirt and see what I think. But you know, make sure it's not itchy because there is something in here that's a little itchy on me. All right, let me try on the last two tops. This is going quick. Okay, I'm gonna start with what I love about this shirt. I love the color and I love the fabric. It is so incredibly soft. And I love, love, love this print, this color. It's just really pretty. What I don't love, the roll tab sleeves. They're not gonna stay, so I would keep them rolled down. I would probably just cut that tab. <clears throat> I would probably just cut that tab out and never use it. And so I would just have this weird little button right there, which nobody would really notice. Hold on, I'm trying to button it. Um, because, yeah, it's it's going to fall down. That's what I was saying about roll tabs. If the fabric has got some good structure to it, then they'll stay. But this is a very um, soft, um, loose, I don't know how to, I don't really know how to describe it, fabric. So the roll tabs fall down. So that's okay. That's not a huge deal. Love this. But what is a huge deal is how it's fitting right here. It's snug right here across my widest part of my body. <laughs> across the part of my body that I always try to camouflage. So it's drawing a lot of attention to that part of my body because it's very tight right there. Um, I'm, you know, I can always lose a few more pounds or I can size up. So that's not a huge deal. I'm most likely I would just size up because things that are, I, I don't mind wearing things that are a little oversized. So I'd probably size up if I decided to keep this, but I've got to decide, do I like it enough to go to that length? You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's easy to size up if they have it available. It really is. You just, you just when you check out, you just say exchange. And if they have it available in your size, you choose that size, you send everything back and then they send it to you. It's easy peasy. So that I might consider because I actually really do love this. Probably like this the best so far. Um, I like the other shirt too, the plaid one, but I'm thinking I really like this one better. Although the other one's probably a lot more versatile because I can wear it open over t-shirts, closed, mm -hmm. and it fits. <laughs> okay, one more, that, um, that green kind of cowl neck. I'm, I'm anxious to see how that fits. Here is this green cowl neck. Um, I love the color. I love the fabric. 
I like the ribbing. There's a lot of things I like about this. I like the cowl neck. I think the cowl neck is really flattering, really pretty. What I don't like is this. And, and that's more about my body than about the shirt. But I ha you have to dress your body, you know what I mean? And so my, the part of my body, y'all know this, and I'm self-conscious about is right here. Well, this has these pockets right here. <laughs> so as long as I keep my hands in my pockets kind of like this, it's good. But if I don't, it's like, it, I don't know. I think it's, I don't know. There again, I think it's drawing attention right to the area of the body that I don't want attention drawn to. And it's real clingy. So if you have any back fat at all, which come on, most of us do, you're going to see it. You know what I mean? And that kind of thing drives me nuts. So this will be a no. It's a pretty color, but it's just, it's not right for, for me. She's just, she just owns that bench. Okay, so in this box, right now, uh, without really playing with anything in my closet, without seeing the footage or anything like that, um, I'm leaning towards one of two or none. So either this or this, and I'd have to size up on this, um, or none. Y'all, I don't ever not keep something in Stitch Fix, so that would be, that would be very unusual, but it's okay, because here's the thing with Stitch Fix. I pay the once a year styling fee, the $49 styling fee, um, then I don't have to pay a styling fee every time I get a box, so I'm not risking losing anything if I send it all back. I have that ability, you know, because, I have gotten to the point though where if there's nothing in the box that I really love, I don't, I just don't. I'll lose that styling fee unless it's a total wash. In other words, if I paid $20 and there's something in the box that I kind of like okay and it's 20 bucks, okay, I'll keep it. You know, I can always give it away or whatever. But with Stitch Fix, um, I don't have a styling fee that I'm risking losing. So I will either keep nothing or I'll keep one of these and I'll have to size up on this. So y'all tell me what you think I ought to do. And until we get back together again, y'all, you just have a wonderful blessed day. Y'all stay safe. You stay well. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully next time Stitch Fix with Scott. I'm out.